Good evening. Uh, I'd like to call the August 23rd, 2016 Board of Adjustments meeting to order. All right. Uh, roll call. Uh, Mr. Brian Walker and Willie Robinson are absent. Mr. Eddie Kras. Present. Mr. Steve Jovion. Present. And Mr. Brandon Bennett. Present. All right. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call for any public comments. Uh, anybody who got anything to speak on for the Board of Adjustments? Uh, not individual items, so. All right. And moving forward. Uh, at this time, I'd like to accept a motion for acceptance of the minutes for July 26, 2016. I'll motion to accept. Got a motion by Mr. Brandon Bennett. No, second. Seconded by Mr. Steve Joffreon. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. All right. Uh, motion for the acceptance of the written decisions for the July 26, 2016 meeting. Motion to accept. Motion second. by Mr. Eddie Kraft. Second by Steve Joffreon. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good deal. All right. Uh, this time I'd like to call public hearing to consider the variances. Uh, zoning review ID PZ 106.16, lot 7 of River Bend Development Subdivision. Second filing for Mr. Harold Rosoli. Oh, you, you can come forward. Yep. <laughs> Just uh, explain to us what you like, what you're trying to accomplish tonight. Uh, the reason I'm here today, this is to get a variance on the setback on my lot. Um, I had, as, as I put in my, uh, in, in the application, the reason I have it as it is now, I had my neighbor's lot checked for their setback. It was five feet. I called the parish government, the zoning group, and asked them what was the setback, and I was told five feet. I proceeded with the completion of my plans and made payments and everything else, and when he was getting ready to print it up, he needed something from the survey group. That's when he got in touch with them. When I say he, I'm referring to the designer, yes, uh, and, and he got in touch with the designer, got in touch with the surveyor, and that's when it surfaced about a 10-foot setback. And I contacted the parish government, asked them about it, and filled out application. That's what he told me after I took pictures and showed justification. Um, and he asked me to fill out this application to be here today. Yes, sir. And that's, that's where we are now. Um, like I said, if I had free space on the other side, I gladly move things over but the way the plans were drawn I have a driveway that goes back to a pulling garage on that side and I need the space if anything would have been eliminated it would have been living area inside and that means I'd have to redo my plans and that means a bigger expense <laughs> starting over not over but making edits to that so you said you had homes on both sides? I'm sorry? There's homes currently on both sides? Yes, of the that's lot? correct. That's correct. Okay. One side is a, one side is a home. The other side is built on a double lot. So the house is in, the house is on one lot and the swimming pool and such is on a lot that's next door to me. Yes. That's on my driveway side. Do you need, so is it on, you need both sides or just one No, side? just one. I need to decide where the setback, that five-foot okay. setback okay. is on so my neighbor, true. just to allow me with a five-foot setback, same as his. So, so the other, so the other side is going to be 10 oh, foot? Yeah. On the other side, there'll be about a 22-foot drive. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because I need room to turn into to a garage on that side. Gotcha. That's why I can't shorten it. If I could shorten it, then I would. But I'm being told that that 22 is going to be tight. So, so the uh, the um, 
side that your call port is not on is, is next to the house that already has a fire. That is correct. That is correct. That is the side that's Don't in question. Don't be back to back, basically. That is the side that's kind of like in question. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That we're discussing. Now, actually, this, uh, if you're looking at the lot from the road, are you on the, do you need it on the left side or the right side? The, the, the side in question would be on the left side, the left side so with my back to the road. So that would yes. be lot six, sir? Um, I'm not sure. That address, I'm at 11439. I think that address would be 11429. I don't know what lot number it is. Yes, sir. So if this is the road, yeah. it's a lot on this side. Put it right there. Go, you can go ahead and show them. Okay. Can you see this? Oh yes, when it comes come up on, on the screen. Oh, maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. There okay. We go. So um, here's the road here. Yes, sir. This is the road. The lot side in question is this side. Yes, sir. They okay. have a house here. So why they this is 11429. I'm 11439. And this is lot, yeah, five and six. And the house is built on lot five. And pool and such is on lot six. This is the side where I'll have my drive. Yes, sir. Okay. And, and like I said, if I would have known beforehand or if I would have been told when I called by parish government that, yeah, it's a 10 foot. Then I wouldn't have proceeded. Yes. You know, I. You have any more questions, gentlemen? No? no? All right. Uh, we'll like to open public hearing. Anybody who wants to comment on this, uh, please sign in and come forward and speak. Got one lady. You, we'll just get you stepped to the side, sir. Yes, ma'am. Let me fill out the card. And... What did you do with your pen? <laughs> There's a pen right here. Brad. <laughs> yeah, Brad makes this look easy. <laughs> I'm just giving you my name. That's all you need. Okay, I am the home that he's speaking about, and I have a map of the, the property that you could see. Um, he will be right on top of me, you know, and we're already at a burden now. When we bought the property, we bought the house, has been in for 10 years, and he came out and told us that the fence was on his property. We said at that time, do you want us to move it? He hadn't moved in there. Said no problem. We, he said no, no problem. Just leave it. So we went and paid somebody to readjust the fence, make it straight, and everything. They didn't do a, do it straight. So we now we had to come back. And when he started with his pad, he tore our fence down. We were told that the fence was going to be put back up. That's not going to happen. So now my fence is laying against my house. So he wants the extra five feet. If you give him that, he's going to be right on top of me. Now we just flooded out there. So if you give him barracks to go further out past the canal, he would have flooded. If he'd have built his house, his house would have flooded. Not only, if you know the diversionary canal, you live there because of the view. It's absolutely beautiful. By pulling his house back further, he's going to block my view. Now, why he's got to be right on the side of me, I, I don't know, because the water, he's building a single-story shotgun house like they have in New Orleans next to two two-story homes. So his roof, all the water is going to hit my house going to hit the windows of my house. That's how close he would be to me, which I don't, I don't think I should be punished because he made a mistake in his plans. I've been in a parish for a long time. I've known, I build and I go get permits. I know to go down to Laverne, you get that packet, you know what to get. And it says in there, anything you build, the law's there. I check out everything. I go to architect. I make sure everything's right before I ever pay for a plan. That is what you do. You do diligence. That's not my fault, and I don't think I should have to pay for it. Now, on the other side, he's got lots of room. 
it gets shifted over there to the other neighbors. They don't care. You know, so that's my point. I mean, the, the law says you, you made the rule that it should be 10 feet, 15 feet variance away. I think you should stick with it. That's what it should be. And aesthetically for the neighborhood, it's not going to match. I mean, even though we're not part of association, we definitely make sure that we are consistent with the neighborhood. We abide by the trees, the landscaping, because we want it to be part of the neighborhood. Even though we're not an association, we want to not be that sore thumb that sticks out. We want to be look, make it all look consistently and be beautiful. And I, don't, I just don't feel like him building a property like that is going to help us at all. It's going to deface my property, and I'm, my home's not going to be worth anything as it is. So that's, that's truly how I feel. All right. Thank That's you. it. Uh, anybody else? Uh, speak in reference to what she said. Yes, in a second. We'll, uh, nobody else wishing to speak? We'll close public hearing. Uh, yes, I can come back up. And okay, I'd like to say a few things about what she just said. When, when that house was, when that fence was put, that, that fence was put a good five, eight years ago, and it was put on my side of the property. And I mentioned it to the individual, but I hadn't planned on building out here. I live in St. Bernard Parish. My wife's originally from this area. That's why we're moving back. But I hadn't planned then on, on building for quite a few years. When I first met this lady, when they moved in, when they bought that house, First thing I told her, matter of fact, I had told the realtors who were selling the house, or at least one of them who was selling the house, I told them about the fence, and I told them to tell people who are buying this house that they have a fence that needs to be moved. But the fence, I'll, I'll go ahead and, the fence, the cosmetics of the home, that's not our issue. I'm it's sorry? The, the fence and the cosmetics of the home? No, I, I, I got you there. It's just, it's you know, That's what we're stick but to. when I first met her, I told her, I told her the fence is on my side. It does have to be moved, and I did say it had to be moved. Yes, she said, you need it moved now. I told her, no, I don't need it moved now. I don't know. I don't remember how long you guys have been there. They've been there a couple of years. The fence isn't the concern. We Two years. Get okay. Get the fence completely. Okay. All right, adjustment. That's what we're after. Generally. Okay. But I'm just trying to go with the same setback as they have yes, sir. on their line. And if I would have been told different by parish government when I called inquiring about this, I would have done it different. Yes, sir. Are there any questions? <clears throat> Um, Lance, as far as, so the other house, I, and I didn't get a chance to ride out there. I normally try to ride out, right. but it's been a brutal week. Uh, the other house is five feet, right? Yes, so sir, that's correct, yes. To the eve, I'm assuming? Uh, probably so. I, I don't really know how far it is. Can't really tell. You know, property lines aren't, aren't yes, you know, sir. marked. Um, but he did, he spoke, he may have spoken to our code, uh, I mean, our uh, uh, plan reviewer. I may have told him that. Um, but I've never spoken to, to the gentleman until after we figured out that there was an issue with the setback. So. Yes. Any other questions? And, and also, when we spoke and I had asked you about what should I do, hold up, you had told me I could proceed with the foundation part, remember? I, no, sir, I never told you that. No, well, someone had... I never told you okay. that. Okay. No, anyway, I proceeded with the foundation part also and got that completed. So that would be the house plans plus the foundation plans that would have to be edited or modified. Yes, sir. Okay. Anybody else got any questions? If not, anybody want to make, would like to make a motion? Well, let me actually, I'll, let me, I like asking questions. Uh, sure. I'm open to. I always ask about minimums because I do believe you, know, you got to protect the, the public. That's sure. a big goal here. Sure. Is there any way of you being able to scoot it over? I know a drive, 22 foot for a driveway. I mean, why? You that, if if that was driveway, the case, believe me, if swimming. that was the case, we wouldn't be here right now. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. It, we, 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 and, and, and I can appreciate that. And like I said, if that was the case, we wouldn't be meeting right now. I would have done that rather than debate an issue. 
that's not my style. But, you know, for me to get to the point that I am, this is going to be more time and expense and problems for me. And all I'm asking to do is just match what they have. I mean, as is, they're, if that's the case, because I checked and that was the case then also, then they're in violation also. Right? And, and it's to my understanding, I worked for a government. They might and, have gotten granted a variance. You know? Yeah, they'll say we'd have to see the property. They might have, but I would think that would be on record. You know, but, but either way, I, that's not what I'm arguing. Yes, sir. Really, I, I'm not that type of person. But I'll, that's all I'm asking is for a wash. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Now, as far as the style of my house, yes, sir. you know, I'm building it within reason. Yeah, we, we'd rather not worry about the style or anything like that. We, right. We don't have any control over that. Correct. Um, but the question I have, I've done some building before, and sure. and I know quite a bit about this stuff, and uh, it seemed to me that it'd be pretty easy to just mirror image your house plans and put your driveway on that side and, and your your uh, other wall to the empty, well, the swimming pool lot next door. That That wouldn't be feasible? I'd have to I'd have to flip everything. That would be I I, I wouldn't want to do that, but plus then I'd be facing a debate with the other guy because if he would want to debate that issue, he could debate that also because I'm just given under the ten feet. I would be more apt to grant a variance to move over to us a, a basically empty lot with a swimming pool than than somebody that's here now. But I guess we would have to do the process all over again, Lance? They were notified. Okay, they were notified. And it doesn't really state which side over here, huh? So we could say which side if we wanted to. Yeah, I mean, to me that would be, I would be more apt to grant that variance to just flip the house plans over, and I know that's done pretty easily. I've done it before. I know it can be done, yes, it can yeah. be done, it's definitely. Basically, just go to your house but, plan guy. But that is not what we're planning, or what we had planned. I'm, I live in the New Orleans area. I'm kind of dittoing a house that I think is very nice over there, and I want to bring over here. And that's exactly what I have here. If you put the drive on the other side, it would kind of throw everything off somewhat. It, it would not be the same, put it that way. It can be done, but hey, <laughs> anything could be done. I guess we could move the garages to face the street and we wouldn't have to worry about, you know, moving over another five feet, but then that would be more, that would be different too, and, and that's not what we I, uh, had planned. Say, Steve, I personally agree with you because that would be uh, no impact of the current neighbors. I mean, it would be different if no one was there opposed to having, you know, a neighbor there that it's directly going to affect at this point in time. And then if you have someone who purchases it, purchases or builds later on, they sort of know what they're dealing with at that point. Um, I, I agree with uh, Steve fully on that. Well, <clears throat> let's put a motion up. That's that is out of stuff. It would be throwing everything off. That is not what I wanted to do. Yes, and like I said, I'm not asking for any more than what my neighbor has. Who was in, you know, conflict with the rules or, 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 or property laws? Just asking for the same. That's all I'm asking for. No more, no less, please. I'm not the type that likes to ruffle feathers, and that's why it's a shame that it think my, you know, I have to start out like this, you know, in my house. I don't like doing that, especially with neighbors. Yes, sir. You but, have to understand our concern is, is that putting house to house, you know, if we keep granting everybody's variance, there's a reason for this 10-foot variance is to keep them far enough away to not <clears throat> impede on each other with uh, runoff water and such, you know. Um, and I think by flipping the house plans, as I said earlier, you would not impede on her as much because your roofs wouldn't be that close. Now, I understand what you're saying it, about them being on the five-foot line, but if we keep doing that, we just, well, throw all the regulations out. You know, we got to stop somewhere and stick to the guidelines that we have set. 
<laughs> I don't, that's, that's not what we planned to do. Yes, sir. It really well, isn't. It, yeah. and, and if I could accept that very easily, yeah, I'd go with it. But it's not what we planned. Yes, sir. Well, let's just uh, want to throw, make a motion they want to vote. I'll make, a, I'll make a motion to deny. Got a uh, I'll second. Mr. Steve Drofion. I'll second. Uh, second I'll second. by Eddie Crass. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, sir. Sorry, well, deny the request as written. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Is that all that's on the agenda? No, sir. No, sir. All right. At this time, we'd like to move forward with zone review ID PZ-1064.1.0. Sorry, lot A-2 from Murphy Oil USA Incorporated and Pan American Engineers LLC. It's located on the east side of US 61 Airline Highway, approximately 120 feet south of Perkins Road. Is there anybody here for that request? Seeing no one. <laughs> Did they call or anything? So, you know. Yeah, we spoke to him. He said he was coming. He's coming from Alexandria, so I don't know if he's caught in traffic or what may be the case. So I would ask that maybe. Well, if you guys want to go ahead and vote to defer it, and let's yes. take up the next one, and then maybe come back to it. So we can defer. Maybe, yeah, we need a motion to second and a unanimous vote to amend the agenda to defer it. We had this problem last week. That's right. Yeah, we did. No, no, I mean to defer to the end of this meeting. In other words, to defer oh, for the time being, gotcha, go to the next gotcha. one, then call yeah. it back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, not to defer. For deferral yeah. to the end of this. I'll make meeting. that motion. No, second. Motion by Mr. Steve Joe Fron. Second by Mr. Brandon Bennett. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, I heard the door. <laughs> All right. At this time, we'd like to hear zone review ID PZ dash. 1065.16, lot 10 of Canal Bank Subdivision. First filing for Mr. S Jeff Velp. <laughs> Located on the south side of Bayou Terrace Drive, approximately 2,225 feet west of LA-22. Again, empty room, so. <laughs> I'm not sure if they had water, if they're dealing with, situ with a situation that, uh, that they're not able to come. I haven't spoken to the to, to the owner it, or the applicant. Is, is there is there a way of uh, pushing both of these? I would suggest, and this is just me, a deferral on them. We don't know what's going on with this. Absolutely. You know. I was about to say, can we do it, anything, Cody, as far as? Uh, I mean, I understand the, the, that the we problem can't do that it. we have under the code is if the applicant doesn't, you know, request a deferral from us, then we need to make a decision on it. But it's, kind of, it's kind of the same situation that we were in last month. Yeah. So what I would recommend is you guys consider it. You know, don't don't consider it on the basis that they're not here, so you're not going to accept it. Consider it on the merits. Vote on it. Okay. And then you know, if they want to come and appeal it some kind of way, then we'll work through that procedure. Okay. And I remember the last oh, one that we voted on that wasn't here. We had a lot of questions, and he wasn't here to answer them. So maybe if we can go over these and look at them, we might not have questions. We might sure. want to pass them. Okay. Suggestion. All right. We'll stick to that one right now. All right. Uh, so, and, and Mr. Chairman, if you just want to read the requested variance uh, yes, into the record, and then y'all can open up discussion on it. I was gonna mix all my pages up. Oh, okay. Variance for uh, requested variances to reduce the minimum side setback and feet from the property line. The applicant is constructing a house on the property. The applicant would like to construct a house 7.5 feet from the side property line. The minimum setback in feet from the property line is 10 feet in the conservation district. The variance requested is 2.5 feet, 2.5 feet. So basically he's, we've seen a lot of these. Huh? Yeah. But he's only asking, I don't want to use the word only. He's asking for a 2.5 foot zone. Yeah, staff's recommending. Uh, they don't see an issue with it. I was about to say, I'm going to pull you, Lance, I'm going to pull you in here. How do you feel about it? I see. Let me grab uh, the uh, 
the ride up real quick. Yes, sir. I remember one time we had a, a applicant came in here and they were requesting that, but it was really just for their air conditioners and stuff that weren't even going to be in there. Yeah. They weren't part of it. That's yeah, right. the, the eve of the roof or the air conditioner or something that was. Yeah, this is going to be to the eve of the roof. So okay. it's going to be from the actual structure itself. So it's not from the, the slab. So it's actually from the eve. So he's asking for two and a half feet on for that side. And my recommendation is to approve. So basically, he's asking for like maybe a foot or something if Correct. you don't include the eve. Correct. Do we include the eve of the roof? Yes, sir. We do include okay. it. Yes, sir. Which generally the eve, not to speak for, but is generally about a foot, right? Your about 18 is? inches or something. Yeah, yeah today's so. 18 inches maybe. Yeah. Yeah. He, he states it right here. He says, I'm respectfully requesting approval, waiving the 10 foot variance requirement to the subdivision requirement of seven and a half feet uh, in order to find set of house plans that would be in harmony and consistent with the neighborhood so it is definitely two and a half feet I mean within that two yeah. and a half feet and I think it's following he says it's within res restrictions of the subdivision which yeah that was developed before means our something our to us and codes. yeah Martin? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. make a I mean I'll make a motion to uh, approve I'll Real second. Quick, Cody, do we need to go through the process of public hearing at this moment? We need to open public okay. hearing. Close public hearing. Before we Sorry. do that, then. All right, at this time, I'd like to open the public comment period. And I'd like to close the comment, public comment period. Got to stay within that. That's right. <laughs> All right. I'll Cody. make a motion to approve. Got a um, motion by Mr. Eddie Kress to and approve. And I'll second. And Mr. Brandon Bennett to approve as written. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. You want to go back to the other one now, Cody? Mm -hmm. We'll get used to this, I promise Just you. go ahead and read the ID back into the record so okay. that the minutes reflect what y'all just said. This will, at this time, we'd like to go ahead and discuss zoning review ID PZ-1064.16, lot A-2 for Murphy Oil USA Incorporated and Pan American Engineers LLC. Uh, Mr. Ron Borland. This is located on the east side of US 61 Airline Highway, approximately 120 feet south of Perkins Road at the current location. Somebody move. And what they're after is a sign adjustment. So I'm going to find it to read it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the master over here. Oh, that's here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to catch it right here. Uh, the request of variance is to exceed the amount of sign face allowed as, as per development code. The applicant would like to construct an on-site sign for a Murphy oil store slash gas that will be constructed on Airline Highway. The proposed sign will be 216.16 square feet. The maximum amount of sign face allowed is 68.3 square feet. Um, 100, uh, okay, let's see. 1,400 square foot gross floor area divided by 50 equals 28 square feet of linear street frontage. 217.06 uh, divided by 2 is 108.53 square feet. Uh, average of the 68.3 square feet. The variance being requested is a 148.31 square foot uh, increase to sign. And go ahead and open public. At this time, I'd like to open public hearing. No one wishing to speak, I'd like to close public hearing. Gentlemen. Oh. Y'all see what all they're trying to do? I, that's, that's the one I did. I live right by. <laughs> yeah. So I know that one. What, 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 what is the current layout now? Oh, the current layout, if you look. Uh, let's see. They have it in the black and white. I think it's the... Page right for the color copies here. I'll show you. I'll pull mine out. But the current layout is a uh, six pump station with a blue building in the middle. It's the Prairie uh, Murphy USA right now. So they're just they're just wanting to add a new sign. No, no, no. They're going to reconstruct the whole building, so the building will be large. According to what I read, read their building will be larger, and they're going to redo the canopy, the pumps, everything. Correct. So if you look at this one. 
This gotcha. is the current. You can see the pumps in here. And then you flip over one, you can see the um, posed. This one I like, it actually has four lines. <laughs> gotcha. Are we just looking at the signage, though? Well, Correct. yeah, and they're just showing you this layout to, for the square footage because their sign is based off the square footage of the store uh, and linear and road linear footage. I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, basically, they want to put a larger sign than what we allow uh, on the airline. On airline. So we're looking at going from 68 square feet to 148 square feet. Uh, or no, 216. No, I think it was larger than that. 216.16. Yeah, the variance is right. Have we ever done anything like that in the past, uh, Lance? To that degree? I don't know if it's to that degree. Um, I'm not. The code itself, I think it's fair and what's allowed by square footage. And, and what's hurting him is that the, it's a little convenience store, a l little small area that he's, that he's building. Uh, and it, that's part of the code and, and how you calculate your square footage for your sign face. Is, and is, he's caught into that point. But I think the code itself is pretty fair of what it allows. Okay. Not a big sign person. It seems to clutter <laughs> up my my view a lot. Uh, I'm I'm having a problem with such a large variance. You know, yeah. if he was asking for ten percent or something like that, he's asking for what two hundred percent. I don't know. I can't do the math. <laughs> it a, is a good. I mean, we do have a very good variance, and I agree with him. Yeah, it's, it's so hard, large, and and he's not here to speak on it. I've seen these. So are we voting on it? Kim. Yeah. Yeah, I, we, yeah, yeah. If everybody's ready, ready we can take a motion anytime you want. Well, I'll motion to deny the variance. All right, got a motion to deny by Brandon Bennett. That's written. I'll second. Second by Mr. Steve Joffrey. You get all in favor? Oh, all, I'm sorry. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Now gavel. Brad's going to be watching these. <laughs> <laughs> all right, like, this time we'd like to move forward to old business. Anybody got any, have any old business? Yeah, any new business? Uh, no, sir. Any new applicants? Anybody no, looking sir. to join this this party? No. All right. At this time, I'd like to uh, get a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. Motion by Mr. Brandon Bennett. Seconded by. A second. Mr. Hedy Crass. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned.